Hey guys, Coach Johnny Carter with the Chicago Fire. I have another English Premier League opinions piece for world-class coaching. Uh, actually, not just one opinion. I'm going to go for three topics I want to talk about from uh, this weekend uh, of games. Okay, first one I want to talk about. Uh, it's finally here. Arsenal Wenger, Arsenal manager is, uh, well, no longer going to be Arsenal manager. It's been on the cards for a very, very long time. It's a topic that never really goes off the, uh, you know, off the map. Uh, and finally, it is here. He is not going to be Arsenal manager next season. 22 years, fantastic um, stint for him, but he's not going to do it anymore. Uh, not his choice, I think. Uh, if you have a look at his sort of demeanor, his words, um, you know, how he's responding to the situation. I don't think it's a choice that he wanted. I think it's more about the club saying, you know, thanks very much for your service. We appreciate the trophies from, you know, way back. Not so much nowadays, uh, but Arsene Wenger, time is done. And... It's a bit of a it's a bit of a shame that it's kind of finished this way. I'm a big Wenger fan. Certainly, how uh, how he was at the beginning of his tenure at Arsenal. Uh, a little less so um, as you get a little bit more contemporary. Uh, but I I kind of like what he represents and what he uh, what he stood for, particularly when he first arrived. Uh, but for me, I think it's time for Arsenal to to make that change, uh, even against the will of Wenger, which it looks like it is against the will of Wenger. Um, so I I think it's good. And the reason why I think that it is a good change is just this game that they played, Arsenal against Manchester United. It was everything that I dislike about Arsenal. Okay, I understand that they've got maybe a more important game coming in the Europa League a little later in the week, but it was a half-hearted performance. It was weak. It was missed the, the kind of intensity that you would expect from those Arsenal teams, those Wenger teams that used to win trophies, league trophies I'm talking about, the Premier League, not just a, an FA Cup here and there. Um, you know, conceding last minute winners uh, it was just a little bit of a soft a little bit of a weak Arsenal team which unfortunately I think is you know how Arsenal is under Wenger uh, nowadays so a change is needed so if you're an Arsenal fan let us know if you're a Wenger fan let us know if you're happy with the change let us know who you want in but that's my first topic is uh, is Wenger okay Second topic I want to talk about is Liverpool. Liverpool have a, a huge game coming up uh, against Roma in the Champions League in a couple of days' time. Um, but uh, I don't know exactly if the mindset of Liverpool is 100% ready for this. They've had a couple of on-field and off-field problems uh, that just meant the lead-up to this very important game um, is maybe not as tight as it could be. They went to a, into a 5-0 uh, lead against Roma, uh, but then they conceded those two goals, and that really did kind of put a bit of a slant on uh, on that performance. They were electric going forward, but it seemed a little bit odd that they couldn't find that game management to uh, not concede any away goals and take that 5-0 lead. I mean, if it was 3-0, would have been better than 5-2, I think. I still think Liverpool will go through in this tie, but they've just made it more difficult for themselves. Then they go and play uh, a very uh, poor league game in between against Stoke. 0-0. Zero, zero. They're still fighting for, you know, top four uh, finish in the Premier League. So that seemed a little bit uh, of a weak performance in preparation. And now they've got this thing with the uh, assistant coach um, who is now being relieved of duties. The club is saying personal reasons. Uh, some other people are saying that it's had a, a fight, an argument with Klopp. I don't know. Not great preparation for a very important game uh, for Liverpool this week when they uh, re-enter the Champions League. So if you're a Liverpool fan and you think everything's fine, let us know. If you're a Liverpool fan and you think mm, maybe the wheels have fallen off here, I'm not so sure. But we will find out on Wednesday of this week exactly um, whether those things have affected uh, their preparations. Uh, we will find out. Okay, and then the final thing that I wanted to talk about was the relegation battle. Um, these weekend, uh, this weekend of games, sensational. Clubs going up, clubs going down, some people getting closer. Uh, we are getting to the very, very crunch time at the end of the season. Who's it going to be? Despite this unbelievable fight back from uh, West Bromwich Albion, I think they're certain to go. Uh, but who else is it going to be? Stoke and Southampton uh, maybe got a little bit of a revival over the weekend. Uh, managed to secure some points here and there and getting a little bit closer. Swansea, West Ham and Huddersfield with a, a shocking uh, fixture list to end the season. Uh, all these clubs uh, have problems. Mathematically, there are other clubs involved in it as well. But I think it comes down to, to that group. Who? Who's it going to be? Uh, I'm going to go for West Brom for sure. 
I think Stoke will go down, and I just have a sneaky suspicion that maybe Huddersfield might sneak in there as well. So, I don't know. Those are my thoughts. It could be one of three, four, five, or six. So, we'll have to play the games. We'll have to see exactly how it works out. Uh, but that's what I'm going to go for. It'll be interesting to see what happens. So, if you're a fan of those clubs, you got any thoughts on it, uh, you've been watching the relegation battle, uh, let us know. Leave a couple of comments. We'd like to hear from you guys. So, thanks very much for listening, and we'll speak again soon. Bye now.